So Matthias says that has repented from calling Ibu Kubi and the pastor's names, okay? But he has not repented from calling Jesus Christ names. Since he was released, he has called out Jesus many times. Look at this one. So hello, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're coming across my channel for the first time, my name is Florence Zakafo and this is Story TV. The law said that we should not mention someone's name. The case between me and the Akuzayo has been died in the station. Let us move on. Continue with our teaching, but don't call name. So Mataya says that finally humbled himself to make peace with those people who he has called out. After he was locked up and released, he decided to let peace reign. So Matthias says that has repented from calling Ibu Kubi, Ako Zion, and the pastor's names, okay? But he has not repented from calling Jesus Christ names. Since he was released, he has called out Jesus many times. Let me say two times. I'll share it with you. Look at this one. So this is one of the posts that he made on his Facebook page. J is always broke. So J stands for Jesus. J is always broke. He always needs your money through his agents called pastors and reverend claiming to bless you. And this act is only relevant in a country that their citizens are broke. He will turn to Yahoo guy by taking money from the citizens and at the same time ask the same citizens to pay with his name, to pray with his name in order to make the same money after he have practically collected from the broken citizens. Religious leaders create a religion for business. Only government can save you, not Jay. Wake up, black man. Christianity from our slave masters, Europeans, together with their J, only stands for pure 419. Now look at this one, what he said. Giving your life to J is like giving your life to a terrorist. You will always live in fear, thinking that Satan is fighting you. So from this post, we can clearly see that uh, Matthias Ezak is out to insult J, okay? Because uh, now he has been arrested, uh, the human beings have arrested him, and now he has turned to insulting J, who he believes that will not come down from heaven to arrest him. So you see how man can fear fellow man, but cannot fear God. The truth is that Matthias has like initiated the violence and he has not actually repented because he's still calling Jesus Christ names, okay? If he wants to repent totally from calling names, he should also repent from calling Jesus Christ names. As long as he did not do that, his people would still slash violence on Jesus. Criminal. I don't want to see you here again. You're a criminal. Mugeba next time. Eh? Mugeba next time. Now he has repented and, and he's telling his people to also repent. But his people have insisted that they will not repent. They say that, that he has been bribed, that he has been brainwashed. In fact, many of them were not happy with him. They are not happy with him. They want the violence to continue. But Matthias says that he does not want the violence to continue. So he has talked to them in several ways. He has used firm voice to talk to them. He has even used soft voice to talk to them. But he said that they don't want to understand. Anyway, you mention Jesus, now they will tell you stupid. They will call all sort of names and all that. So, this is what Matthias Isaac has initiated, and it will be very hard for him to be able to, you know, stop these people from, you know, using violence on Christians. So, because he has created that uh, ground where 
they had the opportunity to insult Christians. So they will continue to do that. And there's nothing he can do to stop it. Because of what? Because he set an example for them. It's just like a father. He's setting bad example for them, encouraging them to do evil. When you will repent and want to bring them out of that evil, it will be very hard to bring them out. Because they have followed in your footsteps. They will also get to a point where they will also repent. They will repent. But for now that he is talking to them, that will not. It's not easy. Mindset on your blue fear, advice on your blue fear. I try to put on social media. I can repeat this topic. Kwa kuzai ono o kwa pastor ono with Afia and picture. At the police station, why he was uh, settling with a uh, Zion because it was a uh, Zion who is a member of the Zion ministry who decided to lock him up because of all the trash that he was talking about uh, against the Ibu Kobi. The same Akozayon went there with uh, the help of Los Zeus, uh, with all the other lawyers. They now worked to release him. So at that very place, they came to a conclusion that advised the uh, Matthias Ezako to desist from calling people names. Whenever he's preaching about whatever he believes in, that he shouldn't call people names. So he now came and addressed his people to let them know that this is how we are going to be going now. Please stop calling people's name, okay? Because I've decided to repent from this. I've decided not to call anybody name, in as much as I was continue to say that Christianity is doing more hard than good. I will not call anybody name. We are not going to follow that pattern that we are using anymore. We are going to change. We are not going to talk about anybody. We are not going to call anybody's name. We are not going to use anybody's picture. But if you decide to do that, you are on your own. So that's what he said. So after saying this, they say that that he has been bribed to change now. You know, you know, being someone who has been has spoken in the past against the Bukubi, Akozayan and the old Christians and pastors and all that. He now, you know, made a U-turn and said he's not going to do that anymore. So his people did not take it lightly. So they said that they have bribed him, they, they have brainwashed him and all that. So my dear people, we shouldn't do things because we can. Sometimes we just have to consider many things before we do certain things. And we should be a let be, okay? So this is what I say, my people. Let me share with you. As always, if you have anything to say, leave your comments in the comment section. Thank you so much for coming this far with me. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.